Okay, uh, good evening. So we are from the third group, and today we are going to present about uh, our research, which is a metaphor analysis in Rex Ores County's song, uh, the Pluto Projector. Next, please. Okay, so the next is definition of metaphor. Metaphor is a figure of speech that describes an object or action in a way that isn't really true, but help explain an idea or make a comparison. A figure of speech in which a word or phrase literally denoting one kind of one kind of object or idea is used in place of another to suggest the likeness technology between them. Next. Okay, so moving on to the purpose of why we do this research is that uh, we want to observe and analyze the metaphor that is consisted in a song and we use Pluto Projector uh, by Rex Ores County as the source of research. Um, after hearing the song, we all thought about the song that consisted a lot of metaphors and according to genius.com, uh, the song is about Alexander or also known as Stress Ores County as his stage name. Uh, he wants to tell in the song, he wants to tell about her girlfriend of four years named Clea uh, to be by his side forever. Therefore, we want to know does the metaphors in the song is related to the statement from genius.com or not. Next, please. Uh, okay, so this is the source of the, of the data, which is the lyric from the song Photo Projector, written by Alexander himself. Uh, we use this lyric, uh, we take this lyric from Genius.com. Okay, next. Okay, for the next is Data Gator. The data that contains metaphor that we can collect from this lyrics of the projector. The first sentence is the great protector. Is that what I'm supposed to be? The meaning are the writer describes himself as a protector. He thought that he is only a protector, not a partner. So for the next is 70 mil projector. I can show you everything. The meanings as the writer described himself as a 70 millimeters projector that could project an image. In this context, in this in this context, the writer wants to show everything to their significant others. And for the second, and for the next is I feel at home when I'm around you. The meanings are the writer feels safe from any troublesome situation around their significant other. Next. Okay, so here's our some of the few data that we've gathered also. The first one is this right here still feels like the honeymoon. When you say my name, nothing's changed. The writer still feels like it's the first time as the lovey dovey with their significant others. And where their name is mentioned by them, it still feels like they still love each other even though they have separated. The second one is I'm still a boy inside my thoughts and I am I meant to understand my faults. The writer still doesn't understand what is their fault. They describe themselves as a boy who is referred to as a naive person. Then they think that this is a time when they need to understand their faults. And it's you that know my darkness. The writer tells about how they don't want their significant other to live since they, since they know the writer's bad side of life. And, second, and you know my bedroom needs. The writer tells about how they don't want their significant others to live since they know the writer's daily need. The writer refers to it as the bedroom need since, it's the, since it is the most common daily, daily need. And lastly, you could, you could bless me and my secrets, but there's probably just no need. The writer feels that their significant other could forget or throw away the writers and their, and their secrets, but the writer still feels that it's not necessary because there is hope for them to be back together again. So this is all that we found and we've gathered from the data. And still, this is not the final form. This is not the final data that we found. That we found. And if, if there are any suggestion or commentary, we are open for discussion. And thank you for your attention. Goodbye.